Hello there. So yesterday I had my bat mitzvah. So here is kind of a summary of my bat mitzvah, of my kind of look of it. And if you want to see my entire bat mitzvah, um, I'll put the link in the description of the Facebook Live. And it's like two hours long. So yeah, and hope you enjoy. Good morning. Um, I just woke up. It's like, I don't know what time it is. I'll put it on the screen. But... Today's my bat mitzvah. I'm like, it, it feels so surreal. I feel like it's just a normal Saturday, but no, like 40 people are in Ottawa and uh, <laughs> I'm scared. It's fine. I got this. I, oh, I'm tired. I, yeah. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the deal. <laughs> All right, so now I'm doing my face stuff. Some skincare and other things because I'm leaving in like an hour, so I should probably, I should have took my hair up. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. Anyway, I have to do my face. I may do a little bit of makeup, not much though, and then I have to get dressed, shoes, jewelry, all that kind of stuff. I already have my earrings in. I'll show you those in a second. And yeah, there's still a lot of things to do. But get some. So I just got dressed and for makeup, I just did a pretty simple mascara stick, about it. Um, so I will show you what I look like. All right, so this is my dress. So I got these shoes and this dress is like a little bit longer in the back than it is in the front. This lighting is actually terrible. It's actually like a blue, <laughs> like a light, like a turquoise. And then I have this, which is my dad's and you cannot see it at all, but yeah, and then I have these half moon earrings and do not look at my mess on my bed. I will clean it up. So yeah, <clears throat> now I need to start cleaning up my room. We're gonna leave soon. <laughs> okay, so I cleaned up my room, as you saw, everything's done and we're gonna leave. I don't even know anymore. I'm like legit really scared, but I think I guess I'll talk to you when I am at Temple. So yeah. Oh, thank you. You should forgive. But if someone is doing something every day that annoys you, at some point you've got to be like, dude, this is bothering me. <laughs> if they just don't stop, even though they know it's bothering you, you may want to reconsider your relationship with them. <laughs> If someone keeps doing something over and over and over and over and, if you, and you tell them to stop and they're still not stopping, at some point you've got to stop forgiving them. But I think you should forgive someone if they do something once or twice to a certain extent. 
And uh, now uh, Sarah and Aaron. Do I have to stand up here? Yeah, we're going to talk to you. Oh. We're going to talk to you. You guys talk to me every... You're not going to... No, I don't know. Go wherever you want. I like having the mic on. So, Hana, you arrived as a little bundle of fun. You love to engage with all of us, especially him. Um, and you took in such joy. In fact, Ari dubs you the laugher in our family in his imaginary games. You're a super crawler chasing Ari, but you took your time to learn to walk a little bit. Once you started walking, you showed amazing determination and endurance. You walked to kindergarten a kilometer and a half every day, chatting at us the entire way there and back. At six, you climbed Matt Phelps in the Adirondacks, one of the major peaks. You charmed all the fellow hyper hikers that you met along the way. And as you got near the summit and some of the rocks were bigger than you were, you had some of them lift you up and you proudly reached the summit. As a four-year-old, you asked if you could volunteer in the toddler room. <laughs> <laughs> And as a 10-year-old in lockdown, you volunteered on a community site to visit lonely four- and five-year-olds on their front porches. Last year, you were a ski coach to the littlest skiers. And at home, you have a deep concern if any of us is having a hard time. During COVID, you've also impressed us and sometimes scared us with your incredible ability to teach yourself acrobatics and contortion <laughs> in our yard and in our basement. <laughs> You've shown creativity, endurance, persistence, and strength. Okay, wow, my that was over. That's crazy. So, I'm in the car right now. Um, we're just packing everything up, and, oh man. <laughs> I can't believe it's done, honestly. It, it, I don't even know, it just feels so surreal. My feet are killing me right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just, you know. Anyway, I'll see you at home. All right, so the evening party is starting in 10 minutes. So it is 5.50 right now and it's starting at six. So everyone's getting ready. We got food going on, everything's going on. And yeah, so I will show you hopefully some clips from the party. And yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, here. Hello, it is now the next day. I was so tired last night, I couldn't even fill a check in. We finished at like late. <laughs> I don't know, like 10? It was crazy. I was in bed by 11, but I normally go to sleep around like 9, so oh my god, I was so, so tired. Because I wake up at like 5.30. I slept till 8, which again, not normal for me, so it was crazy. Um, But yeah, reflection on the day, it was an amazing day. Like, it, honestly, I would say it was one of the best days of my life. Like, I can't think of a much better day. Like, I'm not gonna say it was the best day of my life. I don't wanna like, confirm that, but it was really amazing. Um, everyone there was so supportive and it was just, it was just a great day. So, thank you if you gave me a gift or was just there or that was just, it really made my day, so thank you. And yeah, thank you my parents just thank you to everyone okay <laughs> but um yeah it was really good day and um yeah yes so yeah anyway i will see you in the outro so bye thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it you can give it a like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff and if you want to comment anything, you can. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!